We will be uh, streaming live in just a few seconds. Sounds good. And we are now live. We will be uh, streaming live in just a few seconds. All right, I think we can get started. 
Good morning, everyone. Thank you so much for being here this morning. Again, we are going to have a fabulous virtual field trip again with the California Science Center. I want to introduce you to our facilitator this morning, Noor, who's going to walk you through an amazing, amazing day of learning this morning. So I'm going to turn it over to you, Noor. Good morning, scientists. My name is Noor, and I'm from the California Science Center, and we are live at the Science Center. And today, we're going to do some chemistry. Do you guys know what chemistry is? We're going to find out if you don't. So, but before we do that, we need to go over a little safety thing. So as you see, I have some bare arms and we're working with chemicals and sometimes chemicals can be harmful, but so a lot of times they're not. But just to be safe, we're going to, we're going to put some safety measures in place. So I'm going to get my lab coat, which I have right here. Put that on. So that's one part. Can you guys think of anything else we might need? Anything else that you think I might need, um, I think I heard gloves. Someone said gloves out there. So I've got some gloves on right here. We got one on this hand and one on my other hand. And there's one more thing, one more thing I probably need. What do you guys think I need to protect myself? What could they be? What should I look around? Do you guys see anything I need? Ah, my glasses. So I've got my glasses, my safety glasses are on. I got my gloves. I've got my lab coat, I'm gonna button that top one on just to make sure it's closed. And we're ready to do some science, some chemistry. The first one we're gonna do, it's going to be, we're gonna see, we have two different chemicals. So a chemi chemical reaction is when you put, combine one, more than two things together to make something different. And you have something here, it's a little brown, and it looks a little thick, kind of like syrup syrup. Let's see if you can smell it. And there's a special way to, to smell as well. It's called wafing. So you bring the smell to you. And I don't smell anything. It's not, it's odorless. And I have another chemical right here. And it's, is it the same? It doesn't look the same. Let's look at them together. They look the same. So you can tell they're two different things. And we are going to mix them in my cup right here. So I'm going to put part A, a little bit there. And we're gonna put some more here. And anything happening yet? What does it look like? Looks pretty similar to the original. What do you think? I have this stirring thing. Should I stir it? Let's stir it up. I'm gonna stir it up. Up. Anything happening? What's happened? Looks like it's changed colors. So that means something is happening. Um, any odor? I get a faint whiff of something chemically that smells something. Anything else going on? Is it hot or cold? No, it doesn't feel like it's, actually it does feel like it's warming up a little bit. Stir it up some more. Anything different? Huh, I'm not sure. I'm gonna put it to the side and we're gonna talk about chemicals for a little while. So a chemical reaction is when you combine two, two or more things together. And who has been in a kitchen before? I should see most of your hands together. And uh, when you bake a cake, do you think you're doing chemistry? You are. So when you have a cake, or when you have all those ingredients all set up, right? What do you have in there? You have maybe some milk, you have some flour. Uh-oh, something's going on, what's going on here? And it's, it's really warm. So we do have something going on huh, here. Um, so back to our cake, you've got your flour, your milk, your eggs, and you stir it all up and you've got something new, right? Can you take those eggs out? Nope. Can you take the milk out? Nope. Can you take the flour out? Nope. But then what else do you need to do? Is that a cake? Nope. You put it in the oven, right? So you put it in the oven and you turn it on and you bake it for, I don't know, 30, 40 minutes. Oh, let's check back on our, on our other experiment. What's happening? Looks like it totally expanded. So we definitely got a chemical reaction going on here. And after 30 minutes, you pull the cake out. And what do you have? You have a cake. It doesn't look anything like the eggs. Mm -mm. Does it look anything like the milk? Nope. Is it anything like the flour? Doesn't look like anything at all. So there, what you just did, was a chemical reaction. 
And so this is an example of our chemical reaction here. So we made, looks like some kind of foamy thing. I don't want to touch it because I think it gets really sticky, but you could feel it, it is really warm. So this is what we call an exothermic reaction. So that means that heat is being expanded out. So this is an exothermic reaction. We have something going on. So I'm gonna take a break for questions because we had a lot going on. Does anyone have any questions right now? Well, we want Not to right now, Nora. I think they're still just grappling with what they just saw. <laughs> It's all of a sudden we went from A and B to this crazy thing. So this is what we call, it's polyurethane A and polyurethane B. And so these are um, just some chemicals some, that are not quite household, but they are a little um, somewhat dangerous. You don't want to like touch it because it'll stick all in your fingers and just be a huge mess. Um, if you were to feel this, it's actually quite warm. Um, so there, you know a lot of stuff is going on because it, all those chemicals in there, in there are getting really excited and, and warming themselves up. So that's what that is. It's also, oh, something different. Look at that. Did you expect that? So it actually hardened. It went from liquid to something that's, I can't pull the stick out. And it's pretty hard, but I'm still not, it's still a little sticky. All right, you guys ready for your next demonstration? It's a different one. So what we saw, this was a chemical reaction, and we're going to do a different kind of reaction now. So I have this white powdery stuff here. Kind of looks like, um, I don't know what it looks like. It looks like white sand. You see it over here. See that? And we're going to do a different kind of chemical reaction. I'm going to add, what's this? You guys know what this is? This is pretty easy. This is water, right? And we're going to add that to our stuff. You got to be careful. I don't want to put it on my computer because then that would be a mess. And we're putting it in there. And I didn't hold that up close enough. Let's try this again. Whoa, what happened? Let's try it on this side. It's expanding. Expanding means it's like fancy word for getting bigger. So remember how short, small it was? Now look how big it is. But getting it all over the place. And I can kind of hold it. It looks a little different. And it, can't quite tell, but it keeps getting bigger and bigger. But this is what we call a physical reaction. So the white powder stayed the same, it just got bigger because it's a material that absorbs water. This is, this is what we call sodium polyacrylate, kind of some big words. But basically it's a little grainy thing that uh, when you put water in it, it absorbs the water. You know where you can find these? Does anyone have any brothers and sisters out there, like little brothers and sisters? Anyone have brothers and sisters in diapers? A couple of you out there do? You can, you can actually find this stuff in the diaper. Because uh, if you remember, if you have a brother or sister and you know you put the diaper on, and it is, the, the diaper's pretty flat, you know, easy to go on. And then what happens when your brother or sister has to go to the bathroom? What happens to that diaper? It expands because this stuff is in there. It's holding up, it's holding all that water that your sister or brother expelled and making sure it doesn't spill outside the diaper. So that is an exact, this is an example of a physical reaction. So we have a chemical reaction, right? Chemical reaction, we mixed two things and we made something new. This is really hard now. Yep, pretty hard. And we have an example of a physical reaction where we added two things, but it didn't make anything new. It just changed the physical um, part of it. So instead of being really small and grainy, now we have something that's like light and fluffy and a little soft because it's absorbed the water. Um, it's soft kind of like, hard to explain. 
think we call this east to snow. So if it's, it's uh, kind of like water, actually. Water has physical uh, change as well. So, you know, there's, you have water, which you see, and then what happens when you put water in the freezer? It turns to ice, right? So there's another physical reaction. So you went from what, from you went to a liquid to a solid, and what happens when you put water on the stove, or maybe not you, but maybe your, your mom or dad or guardian put water on the stove and you get it really hot, what happens to the water? It turns to steam. So now you have steam or a gas. And so there are three, three phases of water, three physical um, attributes of water where you have a liquid, a solid, and a gas. So that's, uh, that's a, those are perfect examples of a physical reaction. And let's take a break for any more questions. Does anyone else have any questions for me? So Nora, I'm going to give the teachers about three minutes okay. to open up their Q&A, if that's OK with you. Okay. And they can actually facilitate some questions. Students can actually use the Google form to upload their questions. And then I'll bring back in about three minutes. Sounds good. I'll just hang out here with my cool glasses and my hardware store. <laughs> Wait around. Perfect, thank you so much. So again, teachers, if you would like to open up that Google form and have your students type in a question for Nor, or you would like to facilitate a question, I will bring you back in about three minutes at around 9.18. All right, Nora, are you ready? I'm starting to see questions filter in. Okay, I am ready. The first question is from Miss Lancaster's class. And the question is, what mixtures start out as liquid and then dry hard? Start out as liquid and then dry hard. Uh, one that we talked about earlier, um, but I, that's, that's kind of trying out hard. Well, for these, um, I don't know the exact words, but these are some kind of, it's a polyurethane. So poly just means it's a long chain of stuff. And so these are, I'm not exactly sure, honestly, um, but I do know when you mix them and then they, they turn hard. Um, I can't think of anything else, but that is something that we would love to, do, to explore. I think with your class, you should find out what, what starts out soft 
or liquidy and ends hard. The only other one I can think of is ice. And I think there's probably quite a few. It just has to get hot or cold enough. I can't think of any right off the top of my head. Um, but even like uh, there are some gases that if you get cold enough, they'll turn, they'll turn into liquid. So if it gets, if something gets cold enough, things will can get harder. Like for example, liquid oxygen, um, or li or if you've heard of uh, dry ice, dry ice is something that is um, a solid, but it is actually once it warms up, it turns to a gas. Um, so there, so it really quite a few, just can't think of any simple ones that, that we have around the house. Uh, most of them are probably water-based. Um, anything else? All right, we have quite a number of questions. I think awesome. you really sparked that interest. So we have a question um, from one classroom that said, how are chemicals made? How are chemicals made? Well, chemicals, they're all made of a natural, some, something natural. And then they may go through some kind of process to turn it into a chemical. But there is a huge thing later on, which you'll find it's called the periodic table. And that has all of the, all of the elements um, that make up a chemical. And so they just kind of mix together and turn into a soup. And you have something that we can call a chemical. Um, some of them are manufactured, some, some are man-made and some are naturally made. All right, ready for just one more? Sure. Okay, this is from Ms. Ruvacalba's class. Her questions, questions are, how did the first experiment grow and how did it get hard? What were the ingredients in the first experiment and how does stirring make it grow? Okay, so I'll show you the bottles. First bottle, it's called polyurethane foam system part A. What does that say? Body tissue irritant. That's why I have my gloves on. And the second one is called polyurethane foam system B. <laughs> so, so that's all I have with them. And so when we put them together, um, they were together and they probably eventually would have done this, but the stirring sped up that process. So we were able to combine those chemicals a lot faster. And that's how um, it started the chemical reaction. Um, but I think that's, I know it's not, this has always been like a big mystery for us. We just know that these are chemical, it's polyurethane A and polyurethane, polyurethane A and polyurethane B. And these put them together and we get a nice chemical reaction where liquids make a solid. Perfect. I'm going to continue to filter some of these questions and I think we're going to be ready for just another experiment to get us even more interested. Got it. All right. So this one is a big one. I'm going to move a couple things out of the way. And then my question is going to be, is this going to be a physical reaction or a chemical reaction? And most of you guys have probably seen this. This is the Coke and Mentos. Oops challenge. I think most everyone has seen this. When you put Mentos in the, in the Coke, you guys know what happens? If you don't know what happens, we're going to find out right now. So get in the bucket. I'm going to move a couple things away because I don't want my computers to get, to get a messy. And I'm going to step away too. Let me change the computer, computer angle just a little bit. You can see our Coke and our Mentos right here and open it up step back a little so my question is going to be for you is this a chemical or a physical reaction all right you guys ready three two one You guys see that? Oh, it smells like Coke and I'm so thirsty. What happened? All the Coke came out. So that's, I want you to think about that now. You don't have to tell me now. Find out what, figure out what kind of, think about what kind of reaction you thought that was. And then I have another one we're gonna do. Where I have 
two things, just like the Coke and Mentos, we had two things. We had the soda and the Mentos. And now we have two different things, two different things. I'm gonna put a little bit in here. A couple more drops of this stuff. I'm gonna get another stir. We're gonna I want this reaction to happen fast. A little bit more. Oops. We got something else going on. See what that is? Just a little, like, little blurry. So is this a chemical or a physical reaction? So that is my question for you. I'm gonna wait for some, some um, guesses. We had the Coke and Mentos where we combined the soda and some candy and we had a little reaction happen and we had this one where we put two liquids together and we got this. Does everyone know what this is? Slime. So we made some slime. So let's see. What do you guys think? What was the Coke and Mentos? And what was this? Coke and Mentos, what physical or chemical reactions? Teachers, if you would like to ask your students and go ahead and complete the Google form, I'll just take a few seconds just to wait for your responses to Nora's question, physical or chemical responses. So was this a physical or chemical reaction? And was this one a physical or a chemical reaction? Chemical? And physical. This one's a little tricky. Nor, thank you for your patience. We'll give the teachers about 30 more seconds. No problem. Have a discussion with your students and then see if they can plug in a response to your really thoughtful question about whether or not it's a physical or a chemical reaction. We have some great experiments and some things that the students are probably grappling with and trying to figure out I what they might discussions through the screen. So the first one came in from Mr. Ayala, second grade class that says that they're confident it's physical. Which one? This one? He didn't delineate. I think they were probably discussing one or more and they selected physical. Okay. So one of them is a physical reaction. Hmm. You, are, you are correct, but which one? Is it this one? This one. Well, we have Miss. Oh, sorry, we have one Miss Rubakava's class who believes that Coke was a physical, and the next experiment after the Coke one was a chemical response okay. reaction. Any, anyone else who agrees? Well, that one more, and then I'll I'll let you in on the secret. I bet this is an active discussion that's happening with teachers and students right now. <laughs> good, good, good. That's what we want. I don't want to give the answers away all the time. <laughs> we want them to think about it. Think about it and, and think about maybe some evidence in the past where they may be able to connect with what you 
um, did the experiments you showed us with what they may believe to support one or the other. Correct. So I think they're anx anxiously waiting your an answer. Okay. No. <laughs> right. So the soda and Mentos was actually a physical reaction. So we didn't, we didn't make anything new, but we did have a reaction where the where the soda decided to like expew itself all the way out. So that was a physical reaction. But basically the soda, the, the little candies, they have all these little dimples or, or or spaces inside the candy and then all of the the it just like wraps up onto the soda really fast and that's what causes it to to have that uh, explosion of of or gusher of soda. And the slime is a chemical reaction. So we added two different chemicals and we made something new. We made this slime. And we can't we can't get this back out. So we can't get the get the slime and then take out the take out the A or one of the other chemicals and put it together. And same with the soda. I think it's all if you looked inside the bucket, there's a whole bunch of soda in there, but you know, it's gonna taste a little different because it lost all of its fizziness, but it's still the same basic soda that was inside the bottle. So that's why that one was a a uh, physical reaction, and this one was a chemical reaction. And that's about all of the demonstrations I have here. If you want to make slime, we do have a couple of uh, slime recipes on the science website. Um, if you go to the Stuck at Home Science um, portion um, on our website, I think there's several videos, and I believe the video that does the slime is on boogers. Imagine that. So um, if you wanna make your own slime at home, there's, we have a video with uh, um, an activity sheet with, uh, with a recipe that you can use at home. Won't look quite the same as this, but it still will be slime. You'll still be making your own slime. Don't, uh, don't, you know, don't give it to your dog or sister or brother or anything. You just like play with it for yourself. Any other, does anyone ever have any other questions before I need to like run back down and do some more science? No, nor thank you so much. I don't see any additional questions, but I will let boys and girls know that if you are thinking of doing any experiments at home, that you also make sure that you are always safe and that you have an adult with you at all times. Correct, correct, correct. Thank you for, for adding that. Absolutely. Thank you, Nor. We know you're super busy, but thank you for stopping in and providing this amazing experience with us this morning. Awesome. I hope you guys had fun. I hope you guys learned a little bit of things. And I hope next time you're walking around and you're seeing what's going on in your house, you can say that's a chemical reaction and that's a physical reaction. And maybe that's just something going on. So bye-bye from the Science Center. Hope you guys have a good day.